Shaver 1000 here. It's a little windy today, so I'm going to have to speak up. Uh, what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here in the garage and get the tools out. I'm going to set up a table. We're going to start going through them tools. I'm pretty excited about it. I love old tools. It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to head to the garage, get stuff set up, and I'll be right back with you guys. the garages this way. <laughs> Okay guys, that's what we got here. We've got two, four, six, uh, seven boxes, a bucket, a basket, a, a regular box, odds and ends. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I got my table up here. I'm going to put a tarp down so I don't get my table all dirty. I'm going to start with like all the pliers and I'm going to put them you know on the table you know and then like I'll, I'll do a keep pile of the things I'm going to keep which I'm going to keep a lot of this stuff uh, some of it's going to be gone like this I don't know I may keep this just because it's cool but then again I may sell it this is a bipod for a rifle so you know that's pretty cool I don't know I'm sure I could sell it pretty easy, but that's what this is. Um, but, so that's what I'm going to do. I did find one snap-on wrench in there the other day. So, like, I'll put my, keep stuff in a pile, but I'll start out with the pliers. And I'll put them in a pile. I'll get, grab what I, what I want to keep and I'll put in my keep pile. So, uh... That's, that's how I'm going to start that out. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my tarp on here so I don't get my table all too messy, you know. I mean, it's a little dirty, but this stuff is just wear. It won't come off. Um, so, yeah, let's get you on the tripod. And uh, let's put the uh, tarp on the table and get started. Alright, so you get the idea. Let me get a bunch of this stuff set out and I'll bring you back, show you what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to sell. Okay guys, so here's what we have so far. i got to make room, so I'm going to go ahead and make up a box. This box here I'm just going to sell as is. You know, I'm not even going to clean it out because I know what's in it. A bunch of these nails and stuff. Somebody will buy it just for the box. Uh, you know, I'll put five bucks on it. It's a nice little box for five bucks. There's a bunch of wrenches here. As you can see, I'm not done yet. I've still got 
all that stuff down there to go through but I'm running out of room on the table I don't want to put too much weight on this table anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box a couple sharpening stones I do not need them I have sharpening stones so I'm just going to leave them in there uh, this I think I will keep you know for space or something this is on my keeping pile now I thought this was interesting check this out guys uh, it's a short barrel though it's got a flip up sight on it uh, I believe it to be a 22 so that man that is short I don't know if it's off of uh, we used to call them chipmunks the little 22 starter guns for kids but anyway like I said this I'll probably sell I'll put that online because that's a good collector thing I got to thinking any of the oils um, I'm going to keep, like this thing, I don't know when I'll ever use it. I'll give it a year. If I don't use it in a year, I'll get rid of it. But you guys know what that is, right? That flips up. That's a flywheel turn. That turns your flywheel. Isn't that cool? So, anyway, uh, I will use this. See, someone's made this to put on their drill. You stick a bolt through it. I've done this a hundred times. I'll go through this stuff later of what I got. This is cool. This is going to be a video on its own, so stay tuned for it. Uh, like these things, you never know. Weld them to something. Uh, you know, whatever. Whatever. So, I am going to keep those things. Um, this is just one of those cheap things. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I might because I got a cheap one just like this. It's only newer. So I may keep it for a backup because it's the only one I got right now. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a toolbox here. Like this stuff, minus this. Um, you know, I'll just throw in a box, sell it to them. You know what I mean? Same way with those, those bolts, it'll go in the box that this is going to go in. You know, we're in Florida. We don't need that. Somebody could use a trial. You know, there's a hole punch. It works. There's a staple puller. Um, just stuff like that. Like this is a conversion ruler. Yeah. So that's cool. I probably ought to keep that for myself. But, you know, I, unfortunately, guys, I'd love to keep all this stuff. But I just can't. I, I just can't keep it all. And it's very unfortunate. What I will do, though, is I'll probably take, see, this is what, and this is a magnet. So that's cool. But, see, this wheel here, the big wheel, is supposed to have one of these things in it, okay? So, since that wheel's really no good, I'll take this bolt out, and I'll put this regular end in it for my drill. So, you know, just stuff like that. But anyway, so I'm going to make up a box. You know, throw a bunch of this stuff in. All these screwdrivers, I did keep one Phillips that I do have a set of, but that would match. All these I'm going to get rid of, but there's something. Like, this thing is neat. This will be a video on its own. I'm going to clean it up. I don't think I'm going to restore any of this stuff, like this hatchet. I'm just going to clean them up and make, it, make them usable. You know what I mean? This, I see a lot of the screwdrivers. <laughs> that go with this so I may pick me up a screwdriver this is just a holder to go with these bits and then I'll have to find a charger I may have a charger but you know I mean all the bits are here except for like those two little things but all these bits are here that'd be something to have on the wall just when I need something quick so anyway let's I, I'm rambling I'm sorry guys let's go ahead I don't know why I put them screwdrivers over there. They need to be in a screwdriver pile. I'm going to make up a big box. This is all stuff I'm going to get rid of. There's another pair of these. I'll get the best one. I'll keep the best pair. And I'll let another pair go. So These wrenches will be sold. You know. They're just going to go in this pile. Pile of old wrenches. A lot of people like this stuff. I have no use for this because 99% of everything I've got has you know but you never know somebody it's going to it's going to be thrown in a box you know and if somebody just sees something they want like you know 
All right, do I have to buy the whole box? I just want these. No, you can have those for $2. A dollar. A dollar. Everything else, you know, a buck a piece. You know what I mean? Um, these shouldn't be there. I'm going to keep these. Whoa. Okay. Um, you know, do I have to buy the whole box or can I just buy these? These are cool. No, you can have those for a dollar. You know, same way with them. I don't know who's going to use those those style bits anymore. I tell you what they're for. They're for the old hand. Remember the hand augers, hand drills. That's what those are for, which are very cool. Um, there's going to be some files I'm going to keep. Um, this is probably one of them. See that? The shape of it compared to the shape of that. See? That's just thin. It's shaped like a triangle. So I'll keep that just because it's neat. And I know there's a lot more files in there that I'm going to clean up and keep for myself. But right now i got to make a box. I know there's more hammers. So I'm going to make a little box up like this. This here doesn't fit anything. So, you know, I'll just throw that in there with some little stuff. Like these sockets, they're all they're all 12 point except for one. Uh, they are half inch drive and they are good sockets. I don't like 12 point sockets. So, they are good sockets, they're old and they're good, but I just, uh, I don't like 12 points. They're half inch dry, see that's, that's a Japan there, it says high test, but it's a good Japan, it's not like that China made stuff today. Nothing against that, nothing against China, it's just some of the stuff they sell is junk, you know, I understand some stuff we sell is junk. Uh, there was two of these, I kept one for myself. Now this is, <laughs> I thought this was funny. Somebody made him a knife out of a butter knife, sharpened it up. So that's, that's going to go in there. This is cute. I really should keep that for myself because it's cute. But I can't keep things because they're cute, you know. Uh, I need to keep stuff that I'm going to use. I already have one of them. All right. So let me get a box made up and I will get back with you guys. This is what we got so far. A lot of tools. Just had to share this with you. What was this guy into? And, lest we forget. Okay guys, again, sorry about the wind noise. It is very windy. Those two boxes are full of stuff. Okay, they've all got a bunch of stuff in them. Uh, like that bottom gray one right there has broken hinges but it's got stuff in it I don't know how long this battery is going to hold out I may have to plug in because I messed around and the last clip uh, I shut record off but I did not shut the camera down um, so anyway they got all kinds of stuff in it now this stuff here it's just kinda like you know some of my treasures you know like the oil uh, that I'm gonna sell online this here I'll sell that online the way it is. I'm not going to clean it up. These are oils. These three things here. These items are oils. This is a solvent. Um, like I said, this is going to be an upcoming video. Give you a little clip of that. All right. Uh, you know, carpet knives, stuff like that. You know, I found out uh, this has got a big hole in the center of it. This has got a small hole. This says. Arco on it. If anybody says polo in the comments, well, I guess that'd be pretty funny. Got some clamps, just odds and ends stuff. Uh, I thought that was cute, so I kept it. It's old, wooden handle. It's uh, like a little awl or scribe, you know. Uh, went over that. These brass pieces, these brass rods, uh, like this brass rod, I'll make punches out of it, little punches, you know, for when you don't want to damage something. This is a hunk of brass. That you cut brass whenever you need a piece of brass or something, you can cut it off of here. You can turn this on lathe, which I don't have yet, but just uh, little stuff like that. These are cool. Uh, I got two of these, so I saved them. They're little feeler gauges. All right. Um, just little stuff. There's a little magnet here. Um, shit like that. This actually goes the bottom of a, uh, you know. Anyway. I figure the light should be good. I'll 
build something out of that. You know, just stupid stuff. Aluminum, filter I can always use. Just, uh, this is a clamp to clamp on like a hose, you know, or something. This is an old fuel uh, fuse puller for the glass type fuses. It's neat stuff. Uh, I went over most of the stuff with you before. Okay. Um, Probably shouldn't show you this, but real quick, little keychain. All right, so um, these, this one is broke. These are door lock knobs, but I thought, you know, if I'm building something, I need something like that. Um, I thought it'd be neat, so I kept it. This is cool. Uh, little wooden handle screwdriver, little straight screwdriver. Um, I like it. This thing here, little scraper, getting corners and stuff. Um, wooden handle. Of course, I kept this snap on. 9 16 half inch. Uh, got me a glass cutter here. It needs cleaned up. This is pretty cool. I haven't had one of these in a while. It's general. It's um, it's just a. See, it gives you. It's got like a, a conversion chart on it. Equivalents. Um, you put it in your pocket. It's also a little measuring tool, mechanics tool. All right. So I got a couple of these. Okay, now, like I said, we're going to go over these later. Not today, but, uh, you know, the silky saw and the axe. I'm still not sure. I've never seen a hatchet like that. Um, you know, I've got a big, uh, well, a compass. People call them compasses. or um, There's a small one there. This one, you know, these ones you, you use for steel for scribing into steel. If you want to make a circle, and then I got this little little tiny compass. Um, I could have used that a few times. Over here, here's another uh, screwdriver I thought was neat. I'll clean it up and I'll keep it. Like I said, none of this stuff is going to be completely restored fully because, well, uh, I'm going to be using it. So um, these, there's a couple of these that are like from the same manufacturer, same company. They're old, so I kept them all. all right. This I kept because not only is it cool, I don't know if you can see on there, but right in the center there, it's USA. Made in USA. Awesome. This is just a moldy tool. You know, like this is for like a wrench. There's your little pliers, your hammer, uh, screwdriver, bottle opener for beer or whatever. That little deal. So it's just like a little multi tool. This is cool. I could use this several times. I am keeping this. This is all my keeping stuff, by the way. Keeping this. It's a little hacksaw to get in little places. Awesome. Uh, we went over this. This will be a video in itself. We're going to clean this up and paint it. Um, as soon as I get some sand for the sandblaster, um, we'll clean that up, paint it. I will be using that. Like I said, anything. You know, my files. Um, I had one of these years ago my dad gave me, I don't know whatever happened to it. But you got your little screws, uh, screwdrivers in there. Now, if it's too thin, you can't get a grip on it. And you put this on it. So that's pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It is all here. It's complete. So I am keeping that. I'm, I'm calling these my treasures, you know. So, see it's a tool mate. So, uh, this is neat. Just a little magnifier. It's a double magnifier, um, which I have already used a couple times. Well, that's pretty cool. So I like that. It's got somebody's name on it, so um, they have used it. This is this is old. Um, see, double magnifier, made in USA. 8 power so yeah that's pretty cool it's a craftsman awesome there's a number if you guys want to look at up there um just for fun these are neat these are those I will do a video on these a little for little screwdrivers uh, you don't see many of them headed screwdrivers anymore this has got a few in it this is in pretty rough shape but see it's been wet but it's still neat. I will clean it up. I may send send that in to uh, a hand tool rescue or somebody like that. I may send it in to them 
and see if they want to see there's where you oil it see if they want to restore it I don't know I'm keeping this one this one's pretty cool uh, number 41 Yankee uh, something brothers there I don't know if I can get it to zoom in I don't know if you guys can see that but same way this has got um, it's got a bunch more bits that are in good shape see it's got those funky bits in it I had one similar to this when I was a kid my dad gave me it was a bigger one but it just reminds me of that I am keeping this one we'll do a video we'll clean this all up make that look nice remember these guys you stick in the old oil pan of the oil cans and then you had your it was a little funnel thought this was cute it's missing a handle figure I can make a handle off of something you know a uh, little piece of wood I just thought it was cute so I'm keeping it uh, this knife here is I forget what it it says on it it's not I don't think it, it's not a bar though C A M I L L U S but we'll clean this up you know I may hold on to that I thought about selling it but I may hold on to it okay so this is cool you guys know what this is it's a key like you would put on and open like your K rations or your C rations so that's what that's from this is pretty cool this is a little oil can cute as hell isn't it cute so I'm gonna keep that I will clean this up maybe I'll take a couple of these small things clean them up we'll do a video on that together this is cool a lot of you guys know what it is but a lot of you guys don't too so this is a P38 which is a can opener but you can use it for apparently 38 different uses now this is not one of those cheap ones you buy online see US K 1962 this is an actual army issued one there military issued that's pretty neat this thing is cool but look how huge that is I don't know what the hell kind of propane tank you screw that on it's huge you know I don't know if it goes on I, I don't know I'll have to look more into that this is awesome okay we'll do a video clean that up a little check it out I like this little oil can here see the label so thought that was neat um, this uh, I want to sell the box but I didn't have anything I wanted to keep all these these are all little there's my ear ear plugs but you know it's got all these little specialty files in it so I didn't have a place to put it so I just stuck it in that box for now so that's pretty much it guys there's my treasures this is the stuff I'm keeping so all this stuff down through here um, of course you know glass mesh this is made not far from my hometown this is made in Dover Ohio made in USA so permaglass mesh so um, I've used this stuff for drywall I've used this stuff on on bodies on car bodies you know for little oh yeah yeah it's it's a it is a mesh so it's a fiberglass mesh but um, I like it it's made in Dover Ohio USA 44622 um, pretty cool so I don't know if I'll, I mean I'm in Florida you know I found that not far from my you know from my hometown so like I said there's these are the stuff I'm keeping this thing uh, I think it's just like a power I, my dad had one of these and he told me what it was years and years ago I can't remember but I did plug it in and it does light up we'll, we'll check this out together this looks like an add-on breaker but I think what it is it says, it says safety stop I think it's in case you know something see like this says drill I don't know what that's for and there's like a negative one on the back there um, but I believe if something shorts out or whatever th this will kick it off because you can plug your drill or whatever in there and this will click kick it off so we're going to check this out together too I'll do some more research on this because I remember my dad having one so anyway neat stuff guys so we got some future upcoming videos here so I want to say thanks for watching guys um, just just my treasures you know it's a, it's junk to a lot of people but to me it's really neat. You don't see this stuff anymore, and I love it. I love tools. 
you know there's a lot of stuff over in them boxes I did not want to get rid of but I, I just you know I can't keep it all guys I wish I could I wish I had a big garage I could keep all my like display them and stuff keep all my tools I did need some of these so I kept a few of these um, you know like these these are old ones so they're made better people go well what's it matter if it's old or new well because they were made with better steel See, this has its own pouch they were made with better steel they don't strip out as much you know so like um, these you get the same size one of these as one of these and put it in a bolt in a vise and see which one strips out first these will strip out first I guarantee it I know I've got you know I've done you know I've worked with tools all my life uh, thought this was cool so I kept it just a little little stapler so still got staples in it still works uh, you know just to me they're treasures this little brush you know it's just to me it's cool just for you know wiping something off you know what I mean just I, I just think it's neat they're my treasures you know and, and I really like them like I said I wish I could save them all but I can't you know like this people go what are you gonna do with this well, you know what? I don't know. It's got writing on it. We'll clean it up, see what the writing says. But if anything, you know, I, I, I could cut that out. I could make something out of it, you know? So, there we go. Like this, I need one of these. You know, it's a putty knife. I need sharpened up and cleaned up. But, you know, for scraping gaskets and stuff like that, it's an old one. It's a good one. Okay, guys. There we have it. can't believe the battery held out on this thing. I've been out here for hours. This camera's been on. It wasn't recording, but it was on and still on. Um, it's down to one bar, but that's pretty good for... Gave 40 bucks for that camera. It's more than well paid for itself, let me tell you. All right, guys. Again, I appreciate it. Now i got the fun task of putting all this stuff away, getting my stuff um, put in something you know and then I'll organize it later because I don't have room in my toolbox that big toolbox is full so I'll probably just have to put it away you know until I get a bigger box um, but but anyway we'll just have to see so thanks for watching guys I appreciate it thanks to those of you who who joined us in on the live stream last night very much appreciated and it was great talking to each and every one of you so, with that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Stay tuned for upcoming videos on this stuff. And uh, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. What is today? Tuesday. It's the 31st. Tomorrow is April 1st. Tomorrow is April Fool's Day. So, beware. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Take care. Shea Bear, I'm gone. Bye.